Hey y'all. I just finished up a custom order uh, for one of my, um, she's one of my repeat customers. And she's also one of my customers that's always sending me these um, really cool happy mails. And uh, she wanted me to make her a baby book. She just had a granddaughter in December as well, which is kind of funny. Both of our both of our granddaughters were born in December, uh, which is kind of cool. So uh, she asked me to make her a baby book, and she really liked the one that I made uh, for myself. And then she liked the Winnie the Pooh book that I made for Abby. So she wanted something similar to that um, on the inside, you know, a real mix of all kinds of stuff like Beatrice Potter, Winnie the Pooh, you know, Mother Goose stuff, baby girl stuff, a lot of pink and things like that. Um, so I really like the way this turned out. I use this, this is where I've gotten um, a lot of my really fun images. Actually, one of these books, um, I can't remember if I was gifted these or if I actually found both. I think I found one and then I ended up hunting down another one and buying it. And this cover was in really good condition. There's one little kind of little scratchy spot right there, but you can barely tell it. Uh, so it's the same on the front <clears throat> as it is on the back, which is really cool. And um, I just had a lot of fun making this for her. I hope she I hope she loves it as much as I do. And it's it's big, so I'm gonna try to try to stay in frame. So it's um it is actually nine by eleven and a half. So it's a large book, but it's it's really cool. I didn't I gave her room in here. Um now it's chunky, there's a lot in here, okay? And then she will also get I put her a rather healthy pack of a lot of fun stuff um, to play with in this journal. Just because I have, you guys have gifted me so many wonderful things and I have so much stuff. So I really try to, you know, share and be generous with what I, <clears throat> what I do in my books and then what I share with you for you to play with. Because there's, there's absolutely no way I could possibly ever use it all in my journals. So, um... So when you get a when you get a journal like this from me, you know, sometimes I try not to go too crazy, but you're going to get a healthy pack of things to play with um when you get a journal from me. So I made uh, the scrappy tie cuz she loves she loved the scrappy ties and this is a piece of quilt uh fabric that has a lot of the feed sack in it. I still have some of that one left. This was these are pieces from the one I got when I was in Texas um, that I bought from, that Phaedra and I bought from Patty and we, we split it up and shared it. And I took and um, I cut pieces of that up and made her tie with it. Now with this one, I backed it with uh, vintage linen. Uh, I bought this really big vintage linen tablecloth when I was in Texas as well at an estate sale and uh, it frays really cool. So it's gonna, it's gonna fray, you know, a little bit here and there and you can keep kind of cutting that off and then eventually it'll stop. But um, I backed this one with that linen and I really like, I like the feel of this. So um, I'm also working on four other journals that are similar to this style, except for one's a little bit different, one's a collage journal. But they're all kind of the, sort of the, the kids book, of course. Um, two of them are Mother Goose. One of them is a collage style and another one is from a Richard Scarry book. So they're gonna be coming to my shop soon. But um, anyway, so you go inside. Oh, it's got four signatures, okay? And then this fabric is so cute. And this came from Renee at GT Designs. She sent me a Happy Mail um, a while back with a bunch of kids stuff in it. She sent me a box full of stuff. And y'all, I apologize if I don't always do my Happy Mail shares. I try to tell you where things came from, but honestly, those videos would be hours long because people send me boxes of stuff. And um, I just, I haven't had time to really do that. I'll try to get better about that. Um, but, uh, 
So I did the charm here. This book is so big, y'all. Let's see if I I'll make sure I'm in the frame. So the charm, and she loves the chunky charms. And I try not to get too, too crazy. But I put some pretty fabrics and ribbon. And this is some tatting that I got from my favorite store. And I had quite a bit of that, so I put some of that on here. And some other little, some other ribbons and beads. So there's all kinds of beads and charms and um, buttons. And this has a, there's a little rabbit, which is a little um, ceramic charm. And that came, I bought those at Michael's when they were on sale. There's a little owl. And then some other beads that came off of some broken jewelry. There's a little heart. There's a little kitty cat, butterfly. There's a little, um, I got this in a jewelry lot that I bought recently off of eBay. And it had these really cute, fumble fingers here. Okay, it had these really cute little ladybug charms in it. So she's got all that, and then um, vintage button, and I've, if I'm not mistaken, she actually may have sent me some of these in one of her Happy Mails, and I just love those. They look like sunflowers, and then some other really pretty buttons in here. So that's what's on the charm, and then I'll make sure I'm in focus. Okay, and then I put um, the little pom pom trim on here, which I thought it just kind of made this pop a little bit. Um, just gave it a little bit more oomph to it. I like the way that turned out. So then you open it up and it's still, this book still lays flat. Now look, it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun stuff in here. Um, turned out really cool. And this was actually what was on the inside cover. But for some reason in this book, the back cover was something different, and I didn't like it as well. So I took a page from the book and glued that in on the back cover. And it's uh, Rockabye Baby and uh, Little Robin Redbreast and Lucy Lockett. So I thought I would put the Rockabye Baby page on here, <clears throat> since this is a baby book. And then I used... <coughs> excuse me. I used some of my vintage um, linens in here. Most of the things that are in here, the fabrics and stuff, the majority of them are vintage pieces. Not all of them, but most of them are. So this was a vintage um, linen and I made it into a pocket. And then I just clipped on um, a little vintage doily flower and some buttons. There is a journaling card in here and a card um, looks like reminds me of a Holly Hobby it's a birthday card but I just thought it was really cute and I believe Renee sent me a few of these and then I've gotten some from other people too but I thought it'd be really cute in here and then this came from a baby book that Jessica Rapp sent me and um, it had all kinds of stuff about babies so I just put a few of those pages in here. This one is about measurements and this is handprints and then this certifies, you know, like the, like a birth certificate, so, so to speak. So she wants to use that. This came from another um, really cool music, kids music book. And I just love the, I love these. I love the colors in this book and the images. And, um, the illustrator in this. I don't know. The illustrations look very similar, so it may have been the same person, but I'm not sure because I, I just didn't pay attention to that, but this says Cradle Song. And then just some tea dyed writing paper. Put a little piece of ribbon and a little vintage flower. Here I did put that, um, that little statement that's on some of the authentic baby paper that says a new baby is like the beginning of all things, wonder, hope, a dream of possibilities. And then just a little, this is a Maggie Holmes sticker, a little flower. This is another uh, scrapbook paper line that just the colors, I thought it's like a birthday sort of line, but I love this. I love the circles and some of it's foiled. It's really pretty paper. 
and a little uh, chenille tab with a heart button and a little pink button. And then I stitched um, a page from another Mother Goose book here. And this actually came from the Mother Goose book um, by Ran a Random House book, the one that I used for uh, my baby book. And then I put her some, uh, some of the sleeves in here, the photo sleeves and put journaling cards. And then I made some cards and some of the other ones. Um, this is some lightweight sort of uh, card stock and I stitched another piece of paper on that to give it um, more room there. Some vintage ledger. Just sort of the same things that I've been doing that I did in those other books that I did the videos on um, in the Who book. I did a lot of things similar to that. That same sort of staggered style and stitching pages and adding, you know, adding extended pages and things like that. Um, this is some fabric that I had. Um, my son's actually had in a cabinet that belonged to me that I forgot I even had. It was some really pretty vintage floral fabric. So I made some washi out of that. So I just put a piece of washi there. Little um, singing book, vintage book, scrapbook paper. I just stuck another little um, strip of paper down here. And then I made a hidden paper clip here. So on this side you have a little, uh, this is a tea dyed mixed media paper. And then this little image happened to come from happens to have come from Pretty Little Studio. So I made one of my little cluster tags and then on the back, yeah, I made a little envelope. So it just tucks in, uh oh, should I glue it together? No, yeah, there we go. So then it just tucks into this little heart on the back. So that's the back side of the paper clip, this little envelope. And this just slides right on the page. Let me push that down. So you have this little image on this side and then you have the envelope on the other side. And this is some little bunny paper um, that came from another paper line. And actually it's really cute across from the Richard Scarry. I also um, purchased a few of these books recently a lot off of eBay of a whole stack of them, about 11 or 12 Richard Scarry books because I love them and I'm saving some of them for the grandkids. And then a couple of them I did take apart and used them as pages because I love, first of all, I love the images. I love all the bunnies, but I love this paper. It's a very nice uh, texture of paper. And it's just, they're just really cute in these books. I just, I love his books. Um, here, I did a little flip in here of a tea dyed piece of paper with a uh, um, Edith Holden book page from December. And I did that because the baby was born in December. And I don't know, I just thought that would be pretty in here as well. <clears throat> Tucked her some more things in here. This is a Chanel pocket. Uh, this is another page from that other baby book that has photographs of parents. Now, she doesn't have to use this this way. She can decide to, she can cover that up if she wants to and put other photographs there or journal on it, however she wants to use it. And uh, this is an envelope I made from the authentic paper and I did it this way and then I stuck her some little journaling cards in there and just use paper clip and keep that shut left this little page like this um, and I'll show when I get a chance to show my baby book that I'm working in I'll show you how you can you can go in and extend this page you can just glue another piece of paper to this okay and extend your page or you can take just a piece of paper and make a journaling card you can add all kinds of stuff to these little um, these little pages right here or you can just use this just to journal on. I just stapled a little heart up there. So then on the other side of this, I stitched in another piece of paper to extend that. And this is also um, Maggie Holmes paper. Here I clipped in one of my, um, one of my pockets that I made out of vintage music paper. This is a kid's uh, vintage music book. And this came from another vintage Mother Goose book, I believe that Phaedra gave me. 
and then little pieces of quilt and feed sack and rick rack and I just put an alteration tag and then I put um, some yarn on here that I have a ton of that Phaedra also sent me a bunch of yarn a while back that I keep forgetting that I have and the colors just went really pretty with that. I tend to use twine a lot and I'm like, I've got all this yarn, I need to use it. And then put a little bit of washi tape on the back side of this page. Um, more journaling cards. I made, um, I took some Winnie the Pooh images and I believe um, this customer actually sent me a small Winnie the Pooh book and I believe I pulled it out of that one. I have some other ones too that I'm using the images from. I'm just really, really, um, you know, I've gotten some digital things from other people from Winnie the Pooh, but um, I'm really scared to go in and print anything in Winnie the Pooh. So I'm used, these are book pages, these are from book pages. Just because of the copyright for that, it just kind of scares me a little. But it's probably just me. Just, you know, don't, this came from a vintage, um, this came from KB and Friends that I've bought several of her vintage printables. That I love and then this was a Prima journaling card more uh, tea dyed paper the other side of the music um, the other side of the baby page and then that's the end of the first signature so what I did with this and you can see this wrap I wrapped this around so this gives something else here um, on this little flap you know, rather than just cutting this off, I just wrapped it around and stitched it, this pocket, okay, on that page. Because I wanted that whole, I wanted that whole piece in there. So now that was a little tough when I went to bind the journal, but it worked. And here's a second signature. Another little pocket. more um, writing paper, Winnie the Pooh page. And now I stitched it on like this and I left this, kind of like that. If she doesn't like that, you can glue this down and make this a little sturdier like that if you want to. Or you can use this as kind of a little hidden journaling spot. Another um, Edith Holden page and this is a file folder. And then I made a pocket up here and I took, um, this is from another Mother Goose book by Eloise Wilk, that was illustrated by Eloise Wilkin, 1958. And this was like a board book, but it's not like super, super thick, the pages aren't. Um, uh, Phaedra also gave me this and um, I'm sharing a little bit of this, but I am hoarding quite a bit of that from her just cause I love it. But this would be a great to write on. I didn't stitch around it or anything because I thought it would be um, cool for you to use this while you're journaling. Okay, and then that just tucks right in that pocket. Make sure I hadn't gone out of frame here. There we go. Left the back side of that blank. Left a lot of space in here, um, you know, for her to journal on, but I did try to embellish and give her lots of things to uh, little bits, you know, little bits of embellishment, but not over embellishing it. Uh, here's a little vintage flower button and another little sort of creamy green color button there. I made a, another little envelope and I just put a little button on the back side of this. I was actually thinking I was going to make this a hidden paper clip and then I you know, kind of messed up and embellished both sides. And I'm like, well, I can't do that now. So <laughs> I just put this little envelope in here for, her. and then here's one of my pockets that I've been working on as well. And this little image I fussy cut out of another kid's book. And I can't remember which one y'all have so many. And then there's a tag in here. So I made a tag. Okay. And this, um, this pocket was made out of like a flyleaf page. And then I just put, just put some scrapbook paper and some other little pieces of scrapbook paper in the image and did the same thing with the little fabrics. 
and uh, Rick Rack and stitched around it and put some little buttons on there and you have a really cute little pocket. So, and this one, the way this image was, I kind of had to do a side pocket with it, but I thought it was really cute, a little girl with her cat and a little pail. But I didn't, so I just clipped these in so she can put them wherever she wants to. This is the page from the actual book. Um, from this actual Mother Goose book. Another little journaling card. This is the clear pockets. And I had to kind of get crafty <laughs> with this because I was out of my page protectors that, you know, just had either the three by four or the four by six. And then, so when I folded this in half, you got like half of that sort of four by six there. So it was kind of weird, but it's a really cute little spot to do journaling. And I just put little pieces here and there. Um, I did put pieces in all those pockets so she'd have something to go by to create journaling spots if she wants to, or you can just put, you know, you can put um, writing on here or stickers or things like that to decorate it um, a little bit different. But it works, you know, and you still have the bigger spaces. So I'm still trying to use those things up and be creative with, you know, I don't want to toss them just because they don't fit like I want them to. So I'm kind of making that work. Another, um, this came from the counting book. I thought that would be cute to put that in here. Here's the other side of the, another little pocket, clear pocket. Put some Peter Rabbit in here. So this is the Benjamin Bunny page. And then that's the end of that signature. And then this is also a Maggie Holmes paper. It's really pretty. It's got this gold foil. It's got like little unicorns and swans and flowers and rabbits and all kinds of critters. Another music page that I stitched in. Scrapbook paper. This came from the Mother Goose book. Um, the 40s Mother Goose book. Scrapbook papers, cardstock. And this particular um, page protector came out of another um, thing that I bought a while back on sale. So I stitched this in and it flips up so you can use the back side or the front side, but the pockets load up here. Another Winnie the Pooh, I made a Winnie the Pooh um, journaling card here, we need the pay page, some vintage wrapping paper, some, uh, this is like a resume paper, more ledger, another photo sleeve, um, with little cards in it. This is a stamped image that I put in here um, for her, a little girl. And then the fabric washi. The fabric washi that you make with the uh, uh, double-sided carpet tape, when you put it on this plastic, it holds. It's not going anywhere. Now, regular washi tape, I don't know, but um, I've used the, I've used that on it and not had a problem. So this is some scrapbook paper and uh, some fabric. This was uh, this fabric was also gifted to me from another customer. And this is a little flower button that I made um, out of paper, and then I stuck a little button in the middle of it. More Beatrice Potter. Another little um, plastic sleeve. Another poo card that I made. Another one of my little pockets. And this actually is one of the images. Mary had a little lamb. This is one of the images from this book. Another fabric tab with buttons. It's the other side of that um, Mother Goose book, the 40s book. This is another little vintage book page I just took in there. Um, made a tag out of this particular image, Hickory Dickory Dock and uh, put some, this is like a scrapbook ledger paper and a little, it didn't fit. <laughs> this was a scrap. So I just put another little piece of paper up there and stitched around it and made a, made a tag. And this is another part of that linen. So um, this was the other end of that linen that had that same edging. So I did the same thing here. 
stuck some little buttons here with a little um, fold pin. And then on this side, this is from another, um, I don't know if this was from the Romney Gaze. This might be from the Romney Gaze Mother Goose, Little Betty Blue. And I made a pocket and then added some vintage, um, like vintage uh, eyelet sort of trim here and a vintage doily flower and a button. And then a uh, Beatrice Potter little tag. Um, there was, I showed a video on how to make these really simple tags out of book pages. So that's one of those. More of that other baby book paper. Then this came from another, this came from a, um, I think this was one of Jessica's uh, book page, children book page packs that she sold. I think it came in that. I thought it was really pretty, the little girl, the little girl sleeping in the little angels. <clears throat> and then it's the Sandman. <laughs> Other clear plastic, some little journaling cards that I made. Oh, and this fabric right here is super cute. It's got, it's like a white uh, cotton, sort of like a cotton sheet fabric. It's pretty thin, but it's got these little embroidered ducks on it. So you see these little ducks. So I made a piece of washi here and um, and then put some of these little flowers that I purchased from Phaedra a while back on there. I thought that turned out really cute. I love this fabric and that came from Renee. Renee sent me that. I'm telling you, you guys send me the coolest stuff I mean, between my shopping and, and y'all sending me stuff. Whew, I don't need anything. And then this came from a printable. One of KB and friends that I cut out and just put that on the edge. This is a Prima paper that I love. Um, two little buttons in this signature. One's the little floral wood button and one's just a little pink. Um, looks like the mother of pearl button. Music paper. Another pocket that I made, but I just clipped it in. And this was from... This is from another Mother Goose book that I've actually made. I'm making a journal out of now. Um, this is one of the pages in that book. I did my little slide page. I stitched it to this page and put her a bunch of stuff in here she could play with. Um, stitched it to the other side of that vintage. This is another vintage uh, baby wrapping paper. Y'all are probably sick of hearing me talk by now. This book is just unbelievable it's loaded it's just loaded with all kinds of fun stuff and i love it i love how it turned out i've just got to sign it so um i hope she enjoys it i had a great time making it and um i will be back soon hopefully within about a week or so um with the other books that i'm working on I'll give you, let's see, I'm at 28 minutes. I'll give you a little sneak. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Real quick. And, um, cause I'm working on, I'm working on them now. Um, trying to work on them this afternoon. So this is the other Mother Goose book that I'm working on. I'm working on the charm. And I've already made the tie for it, but it's over on the other side of the room. And then this was the, this is the um, Richard Scarry, Scarry book that I'm working on. So I'm getting ready to do charms on those. <clears throat> and uh, they'll be coming to the shop hopefully within the next, like I said, within the next week and a half or so. And then um, this is the collage one. This is the collage one that I'm working on. And then another one of the uh, Mother Goose, the Golden Book. So, I've been working hard. I'm just um, got several things going on and I'm trying to finish up a lot of things at one time so that I can kind of stop the shop at once. And then I've got some other projects started that um, I want to work on and continue to finish my books because I've been working on those two. I'm almost finished both of my Christmas books and the baby book I'm caught up. And I wanna work on the heritage journal some. But anyway, 
I could keep babbling on, you know, for another half an hour, but y'all are probably bored with me by now and ready to go. So anyway, love you guys. See you soon. Bye.